Hey guys, Blue Commander here, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm basically creating another command tutorial, and I haven't done these in a while. I'd kind of intended to stop these because nobody really watched them particularly. They didn't get very many views, so if people didn't enjoy them, there wasn't that much point in me making them. I was kind of using prettier open comments as a replacement for it because I think people seem to enjoy that more, which I'm glad about. But this one was actually requested in my submit a one command. There's also an option to submit a command tutorial there. And I've had a couple submitted, but this one I actually liked the sound of and I thought it, it might help some people out. So I thought I would explain how to do it in this video. So if you haven't worked out from the title already, today I'm creating villagers talking to you when you click on them, conversations, how to remove the offers menu, remove that. So as you can see here, uh, this village here, if I am clicking him, you can probably hear with my really loud mouse. I cannot hear that at all. And <laughs> what am I on about? As you can see, I can click on them as much as I like and it doesn't show. So what we're going to do here. So to begin with, to create this kind of thing, we need a villager click scoreboard objective. So you can call it what you want, but it needs to be a stat dot talk to villager. So every time, as you can see in the over here on the right, every time I click, my score goes up. And then we're going to have to create our villagers. So what I'm going to do here is just, I'm going to copy the command I got here. Um, so you can give it a custom name. I'm going to call it Dan, for example. And then you can make the name visible if you want. I made it no AI because it's a bit like RPG villagers. So when you click them, you want them in the same place. So anybody who explores in that area, you talk to them. But if you don't want it to have no AI, it doesn't, and you want it to move around, then that's perfectly fine. And then this is what removes the menu. So you put offers and then in bracket, you don't put nothing inside the bracket. So if I create this villager here, so as it's no AI, it all looks in the same direction, but you can fix that by using this command. So this fifth tilde here controls the head movement. So say I wanted him to look down a bit, I can put so to 50 and he'll look down at the floor and I can use negative for it to go upwards. So if I do that, that's how that works. And then the one next to it here, this is the, um, it's what moves the body around. So you can keep doing this till it's facing the direction you want. And there we go, I'm just gonna leave mine like that. So here's the first commands for actually make it talk now. So as you can see, we've got one command here. I'll probably have a thing on the screen showing the command. But it's basically executing at the villager and it's telling all players who have this score who's clicked on it, welcome, or whatever message you would like. I used a tell command, you could obviously use a tell roar instead or anything like that. And then the last command resets it. So I'm just gonna put this on here. As you can see, my score's now zero. And if I'm in range, every time I click it, it says, hello, welcome to the forest, like we set. And both these will do it, and it'll tell that show their name. But if you wanted different messages, depending on the person, then we can move on to this one. So this is the exact same as the one before, it's also got the reset. But instead, it also has, instead of just type equals village, it also has name equals Dan, or whatever you want the village is called. And then we have different messages. So this one's the same as before, but this one also has name equals pool, which is my other one over there, so that's a different message. So if we activate this and then give him a talk, it says hello, welcome to the forest. And this one says go away, we don't like strangers. Don't really know what he's he's looking at. Is he looking at this nurse mountain here? By the way, the map's in the description. I found it on Planet Minecraft, it's pretty cool. Anyway, so we can also take this one step further, where it doesn't have to just be messages. So as you can see here, this is the same as before, but instead of being a tell command, it also has a summon command. It summons an arrow. Oh, that's the wrong one. Summons an arrow above their head. So if I just activate this, I've set this one to only walk for pool, so this one here doesn't work anymore because I did these commands aren't on anymore. And I click on them, it it has this message and I also get hit by the arrow. Which falls above me. I can dodge it, but so now we've done that. We can also take it even further and we can have actual conversations with them. So how we do this, to begin with we need to create um, a scoreboard objective. Uh, to keep it simple, I just put the name of the villager and then score at the end, and it's a dummy objective. So we need to just add that. I think I've already got it in, it doesn't matter. So how this works is to begin with, every time you click on it, it adds their pool score by one. And then these three here, this is the reset uh, villager click, but these are all different messages. So it's the same as before, but instead it also, as well as all this stuff, also has if their score is a minimum of one and equals one, it'll say hello, so that'll be the first time. When you click it again, your score will go up from one to two. And you can keep going on with this for as long as you want until your conversations would have ended. You can also cut them off. So if, say, this your third was your last one, only keep have the minimum and not have the maximum. If I click on pull, it'll say hello. And then if I click it again, I'll go, how are you? And if I click it again, it'll say, okay, bye. So I can click this as many times as I want. 
as you can see, it's going to say it forever. I hope you enjoyed it. This was suggested by Verb Miner. And anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.